Hi Cancer, welcome back. It's Vanessa Moon Tarot. This series is called You and Your Boo. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to get into messages about, you know, how does your person view you? How do they feel deep down inside? Um, what aren't they telling you? What's their next move? What is the alignment energy between the two of you, which is like the potential outcome and then the advice for the situation? Okay, so this is kind of quick fire. So let's get into it. I love you guys, Cancer. You guys are like my biggest supporters out here and I cannot thank you enough for making my channel pop. I haven't even had my channel for a month and it's growing exponentially. I'm so glad to be doing it. So let's get into it. All right, Cancer. All right, Cancer, sun sign of Cancer. Let's do it. How do they feel about, how do they view you, Cancer? Let's find out. How does your boo view you? How do they view Cancer? How do they view Cancer? Okay. They view you as the Knight of Cups in reverse. Bringing that drama. Actually, deck was flipped over. Not a, I, first of all, I said Knight of Cups, so all wrong. Uh, Knight of Swords, upright. There we go. Knight of Swords, upright. We'll correct ourselves. We're going to get into it. It's early. Sorry, guys, but I'm here. All right, cool. So they see you as somebody coming in, rushing in to tell them the truth or having an epiphany or... Maybe you're not saying things. This could be kind of starting arguments or just um, abruptly coming in to say something that you know you have to say. You have to speak your truth, basically. All right, how do you view them? You view them as the Ace of Swords, which is appropriate, okay? Ace of Swords is like literally clarity and a realization of something. So something has been realized here, and usually the swords, there are thoughts and our feelings, but with the Ace of Swords, this is a victory sword. It's a victory because you've realized something that maybe was blind to you in the past, so that's why it's a victory. Um, but it also cuts, right? So this sword can be very blunt, meaning... This truth may hurt. This truth may actually cause the situation to move forward. It may actually cause the situation to just be done, right? But it's the kind of, it's just the blunt truth. It also can be official correspondence or communication. Um, but it is a good thing that Ace of Swords because you kind of can't start a journey without a realization, right? So once you get this realization, they view you as having come in real fast, quick, in a, in a hurry as a Knight of Swords to kind of express that. How do they feel deep down inside about you, Cancer? How do they feel deep down inside? How do they feel deep down inside? How do they feel deep down inside about Cancer? Ooh, y'all still don't want to talk that much, huh? All right, we got three cards. We have Seven of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, and the Hangman. So right off the bat, Deep down inside, they feel like they've been, they're willing to invest in this situation, but they're kind of on the fence about it. They want to see where it's going to go. Um, and they kind of feel like there's some big, something, something big has changed basically with the wheel of fortune. Okay. Something, something, there's been an unexpected change in the situation and it's causing a pause and they're, they're stopping to, to understand um where is this going to go is this going to lead to a long-term thing or not they're kind of meditating on that energy honestly they're taking a pause because they realize with this truth probably that this has to go somewhere you're not playing okay so they they whatever they're pick up they're picking up what you're putting down okay they know you're not playing games they know you're not playing games they're they're st they're pausing to kind of see if the situation is really right for them or not how do you feel deep down inside, Cancer? How do you feel deep down inside? How do you feel deep down inside? Five of Swords, okay? Again, not freaking playing. It's kind of ruthless energy. So according to this, this is you're going back and forth in your thoughts about um, will this work? Won't it, will, will it not work? This is also a card of ego, right? Um, you kind of might, the advice with this card is you kind of might need to take your ego out of the situation, take a step back out of the situation because this is kind of nobody wins. You're just kind of going back and forth, back and forth in your head and it's not, it's not helping you. It's not helping you. 
Okay, you need to release that. Release that energy that's putting a kind of negative stain on it. No matter what. That's not good manifestation energy. But that's what it says you feel deep down inside. Um, what aren't they telling you, Cancer? What aren't they telling you? What aren't they telling the Cancers? Come on. What is their what is Cancer's boo not saying? Alright. So they got the Queen of Swords energy. Alright, so what they're not telling you is that they actually might be willing to work on this, okay? The Queen of Swords energy is like, when she's upright like this, okay? Oh, you can see that. Oh, sorry, guys. All right, so the point here is, see that sword, that same sword? You guys have a lot of mental energy between the both of you. Um, that true sword has that light there, probably from the moon. No, it's a, just a light. It's our intuition, okay? And so that kind of light, it means that you're thinking, this person is thinking really hard about where they want to go with this situation. And specifically with the Queen of Swords, she is has been hurt already. She's already gone through it. And so therefore, she really only wants people coming at her with the truth of a situation. And if need, if they're not bringing her what she wants to hear, she's cutting it out. So that's how this person feels deep down inside. If, if I mean, they feel like if they don't hear what they want to hear, they're just going to cut it out. But they're willing to listen. That's what the Queen of Swords is. She's willing to listen. She's not she's not a horrible person or anything. She just she's a little jaded. Very intelligent though. Alright, so how you or what you desire is the Page of Cups. Okay? The Page of Cups is literally like a love offer. So you want this person to come at with you, come at you with um sincerity and with this is kind of like this is very lighthearted energy, right? This is like, I have a crush on you. Um, this also could be like, hey, I'm really sorry that I never told you that I have a crush on you. I'm really sorry that, um, you know, I treated you a certain way because I really do actually love you. So that's what you desire from this person. You're desiring for them to either offer a cup or you to offer your cup in a very sweet and sincere way. So basically, you're very reasonable here. You're like, look... I want the truth of the situation or I know the truth of the situation. I know you're not telling me something. This Queen of Swords energy you're withholding, okay? Um, or maybe you're deciding or you're a little um, cold. But like, I'm not, I don't want much. I just want to talk. I just want to have an expression of how you need to get the ball rolling, okay? Cancer said get that ball rolling, okay? All right, so what's their next move, Cancer? What's their next move? King of Cups. So I'll tell y'all right off the bat, y'all got love between the two of y'all. There's love here, okay? King of Cups, that's Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy. Um, if I didn't tell you, the swords are Aries, Leos. I said Aries. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, air sign energy. But okay, so King of Cups, this is their next move. Their next move is that the King of Cups is so grounded. He's so full of love. He's ready to give his cup. He's ready to tell you how he feels. Or she. It doesn't matter the gender here. It just means the kings mean they're grounded in how they feel. They are secure in how they feel. Okay? They know what they want. And they're ready to take action. Kings do take action. So this means they're getting ready to tell you they love you. That's their next move. They haven't done it yet, though. The king is going to be methodical about it. But he's all loved up. This one, he's all loved up. He is the picture of emotional maturity. So this person is taking their time to make sure they do it right. You might be rushing in. I, I feel anxiousness on your part, Cancer. But um, and get, get, keep in mind, these energies could flip. This may be the other person. But on your, that's just for the sake of this reading. You're you're the anxious one, right? Um, you're feeling anxious because you have all this realization of truth, and you know that this is the real deal, probably. But um, and you're and you're kind of tiptoeing. You're trying to give them some energy to. You're like, hey, tell me what I need here. But you know, you don't have to tell me so aggressively you can just let me know you can give me a hint they're coming they're coming take your time don't have a cow cancer i know how y'all do don't have a cow what's your next move what's your next move cancer oh good you got the temperance in reverse okay i even though the temperance is in reverse here it's still really good energy okay so basically, here's the thing, okay? It just means you're a little imbalanced, all right? But you can turn it around because it's your next move, not your actual move, okay? So basically, that means like balance energy, healing energy, 
giving time for the angels to work it out, giving time for you know the inner workings of the situation to kind of level out so that things can actually progress, right? So they can actually happen. Um, the temperance is literally the middle road card. So taking the middle path in a situation, not going, you know, too extreme. Ex not, don't be too extremely loving. Don't be too extremely negative. Don't be too extremely positive. Take the middle road so that things allow things to unfold naturally, basically. Okay? So you're a little out of, ba out of balance, but it's okay. All right, you can get there. You can get there. All right, so here is the potential outcome. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands here. Do you see that? Do you see that? Ace of freaking Wands. Okay, so that's like the Wand of Passion. That's So first of all, this is a fresh start, okay? This is a fresh start. All right, you'll hear a lot of things. The Ace of Wands is literally a fresh start. Okay, it is it is a fresh start given from divinity, um, and it is a clean slate. It's it's a move forward that everybody feels really excited about and passionate about and creative about, and you're just the, the possibilities are endless with this card. You're just like, well, maybe we could do this, or maybe we can do that, or you know, and then also a lot of sexual heat, a lot of sexual heat between the two of you. Very phallic card. So basically, you guys are lusting after one another, huh? Lusting after one another. And what is the advice? What 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 can you do, Cancer, to uh, help move this situation along? I mean, you got some advice here already. Looks like, um, I'll tell you right now, there are, on each one of your sides, divine timing is at play here with the Wheel of Fortune, with the Temperance. Um, honestly, you're probably called to do nothing. This thing has already been set in motion. So, cool your jets. Use your five of swords energy, trying to pick a fight and all that, and your knight of swords energy, okay? No. Cool your jets. Cool your jets. All right. So the advice is the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is literally meaning work on yourself, work on your business, okay? This is a wealthy man. This is a, this is a, uh, a business owner, an entrepreneur. This is the pre-emperor card. This is um, a person, the CEO, the corporate... Um, somewhere high up in the corporate hierarchy. This is the money maker, the provider. This is a very stable individual. This is an individual looking for a husband or a wife. This is not the person that is out here pouncing around because they worried about the clients, honey. All right. So they want you to be the king of pentacles. Focus on your empire. Focus on your money. Focus, focus on your personal growth here because that's what's going to bring this person in. Okay. So. We're going to do you a solid. Oh, look at this. What We were right. Look at the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck has the, uh, ooh, the nine of pentacles. The nine of coin right there. Okay? That's a single lady card. That's literally your personal best, right? There's, that's like get your stuff. Get cute. Take care of your house. This is a theme with y'all. <laughs> this is totally your theme. Take care of your house. Take care of your domain. Um... Go out, go shopping, you know, get your get your money right because you're gonna be on dates, honey. Yeah, I mean it's if it hasn't come in for you, you some for some of you, the person has come in and you got you kind of um start to get the feels and get the momentum and you're like, wait, don't pause, don't and then maybe you rushed in because you feel you feel so strongly about the person and that's okay. That's okay. But now we need to allow things to unfold. We need to give this person some time because they do love you with this king of cups energy they this is pretty much the most a person can love you in a court card so they're stable and also this is your energy right so right now they see you for who you are cancer pisces scorpio this is the cancer pisces scorpio king right so this is the water energy king so they see you for who you are they they love you you know all right so let's clarify this Hmm, Cancer, I like this reading a lot. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords. Um, why do this Cancer's boo view them as the Knight of Swords, as somebody rushing in to tell them the truth? Why do they view them that way? Okay. Wow, okay, so they view you this way because of the Seven of Wands, because you're not playing any games, honey, okay? You're like, I'm gonna block your ass if you don't fucking tell me that. Sorry, bad words. But they're like, this is a card of restriction and standing your ground. And you've been through a lot. You fought, you've, you've had some victories in this already. 
okay? You, you Specifically in that card, you could have gone through two years of SH with other people, okay? Let's keep it real. That card represents about two to three years of bullshit in relationships, all right? And you don't have to block MFers. You don't have to kick people out your house. You don't have to tell people, no, I'm, this is not right for me. And you're not having it anymore. But this is also, with these two cards, don't bring your emotional baggage into this, this, this mess, okay? Because right now, this is how they view you. A little aggressive. Just saying. All right, so how do you view them? You got the Ace of Swords, right? So you've got clarity and realization that there's something here, truth you need to tell them, a victory, that this is a victory and we need to get it going or else we need to cut it off. That's how you view them. So let's clarify that Ace of Swords, please. Six of, six of Swords, right? Okay, that's what we're saying. So Six of Swords is a very spiritual card. It means that you've actually gone within. You're trusting your intuition. You're taking all your battle scars and your battle wounds. And you're learning from it. And you're saying, listen, I ain't got time. Okay? I've been through so much. I don't want any drama in my life. I'm cool now. I, things are actually going right for me. And I want it to stay that way. Okay? So that's what you're telling them. You're telling them, listen, uh, you even might even be telling them, I will travel towards you. I will get on a boat. I will get on a plane. And I will come towards you, a boat. But I will, I, you might be traveling towards this person. This is like a small body of water or just a distance, a short distance. And they might live a far away from you. But you're like, look, I, I will do what I have to do for this. Okay? I'm willing to, you know. But don't play me. All right. So that's how you view them. How do they feel deep down inside? Remember, we got the Seven of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Hangman. So they're taking a pause because this is an expected turn of events for them. And they're going to say this is this situation is worth the investment, right? Is, is it worth putting into cancer, right? So let's clarify that. Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Aw. All right, cool. So they got the Page of Cups. Ooh, I'm about to drop all these cards of cancer. Um... To clarify whether or not they should invest in you, what unexpected happened. Yeah, you offered them some love, right? That's Cancer Pisces Scorpio, the page of cups. You offered them you offered them your cup, right? You said, Look, this is how I feel. You were sincere about it, you were cute about it. You told them you like them. That page of cups. Hmm. Or they want to offer you. Or they want to offer you their cup. Okay? But that's probably what you came in and told them. And then it stopped them. It stopped them dead in their tracks. Or, because like I said, this is a lot of people here. If it didn't stop them, they have had the epiphany with the hangman and with that truth you gave them, right? Because that's the hangman is getting a different perspective, enlightening. And they're, they're enlightened with this wheel of fortune. This is also the hand of divinity coming in to change things up and say, hey, look, look at cancer. Look at cancer. Pay attention. You need to offer this person your love. Okay. All right, here we go. So, you feel deep down inside. The Five of Swords, both of you. You guys are, let me tell y'all right now. You guys are mirroring one another. This could, be a, this could be a divine counterpart because you're mirroring. You got the hangman. So, how you feel, feel deep down inside is you're feeling like this is just a fight. This is a struggle. Um, and you're going back and forth in your head. You're, you're, you're having ego issues right now with... Um, just basically kind of, you know, working against yourself with your thoughts. And, the, and right now it's because you're, you're really trying to get in perspective on the situation. You're trying to see where this is going with the hangman energy and straight across from, from you on their end on how they feel deep down inside is the same freaking thing. The hangman, you guys are definitely mirroring one another. Okay. You're thinking, you're thinking, 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 except on their end, they're a little bit more lighthearted than you are. You know, they're a little bit more optimistic than you are. Have, be optimistic because you guys are mirroring. I mean, you got, you got, right now, right now, you got swords on your end, swords on his, on their end, right? Um, You got hangman on your end, hangman on their end, okay? You got page of cups on your end, okay? Page of cups for what you desire. They got page of cups for how they feel deep down inside. Come the fuck on. Cancer. If this ain't your person, you need to chill. I'm going to just tell you that right now as your friend. I'm your friend. I'm your friendly neighborhood tarot reader. And I'm going to tell you right now, chill. They like you, okay? You got this. You got this. It's more I can see so far. All right. So let's clarify the uh, page of cups. I'm going to clarify some of these. And then we can get going, you know. Um, 
Queen of Swords. What aren't they telling you? That's what we were. What aren't they telling you? You know what? I'll put this. Sorry, guys. Got turned around there. We're going to do this right, though. We're going to do this right. All right, here we go. So what they aren't telling you, they got the Queen of Swords. They're not telling you that they're really contemplating and thinking about how this can happen because they're just they're just a little jaded. That's all. They're not telling you that they've been hurt in the past. I really think that's what it is. They're not telling you that they've been hurt in the past. Uh, so clarify the Queen of Swords. What aren't they telling them about what they've been hurt? What aren't they telling Cancer about how they've hurt? What aren't they telling Cancer about how they hurt? What aren't they saying to Cancer? Oh, they don't want to tell you. See how these cards won't come out? Mm. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. So what they're not telling me. Oh, Lord, child. People are funny. So what they're not telling you is that they've been watching you like a hawk. This person could have been watching you for a long ass time, for real. Okay? This person could have been, this person could have been wanted you. And this is a pair here, too. Even though it's not the king and the queen, the page and the queen, this is a, still well-suited. They might also have a kid. I mean, just saying. But they might not be telling you that they have a kid. I don't know. That came to me just now. Um, yeah. But either way, they've been watching you for a while. They've been thinking about how to... They've been researching. Yeah, some of you out there, they didn't tell you they had a kid. Um, but they've been watching you for a while. They're trying to get the, the courage up to really pursue this. Because the Page of Swords, it's kind of like, um, this is like a young energy. It's not very a trustworthy energy. It's not really, it's just because it's kind of the, the beginning and the makings of something where people still have like their skepticism on it. So they, they might seem a little shady, shady boots, you know? All right. So Cancer desires the Page of Cups energy. They desire for a love offer to be made. They desire for someone to come at them with you know with just a little token of their affection like come on ask me on a date come on do something um tell me how you feel you know tell me do you like me so let's clarify that let's clarify the page of cups for how what cancer desires page of wands yeah there's a, there's definitely kids in this situation y'all got four pages on the board um okay so yeah they could be younger than you also um, so the page of wands is being extremely excited. This is all your, this is also brimming, brimming, brimming with sexual energy, but this is expecting news. All right. So what you desire is you want to hear, you want to hear again, you want to hear this love offer. You want to hear how they feel. You're passionate. You're kind of overwhelmed by your passion. The page of wands can't really contain his excitement. He's like, I got to tell you now. I got to, I want to know now. Um, it's also is a lot of sexual energy. So cancer, you could be really effing horny. I could see right here too, that like you guys may, some of you may have, it's may, may have been a dry spell and you're like, I finally met somebody that I want to get with or you just weren't you won't you weren't getting it right i don't know but like you you really you ready to you you feel this person is very attractive i know that all right and what's their next move we got the king of cups their next move is that they might not be telling you they love you but they're going to take action soon because they're all loved up on you right so let's clarify the king of cups let's clarify the king of cups please for cancer's boo all right what are they gonna do with this king of cups energy what are they gonna do with it what are they gonna do with this king of cups energy there we go seven of cups they have a lot of different things okay so there's a few ways you can read the seven of cups okay so this is their next move okay their next move is they're gonna present you with a bunch of options straight up all right, I don't see this as them being clouded or nothing. They could be only because they're trying to think of what, what they want to give you. They might want to buy you something. They might want to take you somewhere. These are different things. Like, um, they could be want to celebrate something with you. They could want to build something with you. They don't know what they want to do yet. But they're trying to, they're figuring it out because this is also like a whole lot of blessings at once. Because sevens are blessings, honey. Sevens are um, cards from heavens, heavenly path, life path. Like your actual 
path to greatness, right? So they see, so right now, just with these two cards, I can tell you this person loves you. They're grounded. They feel grounded and stable in their love for you. They feel secure with you. They feel like they can actually express themselves the way they know they want to express themselves in a relationship with you. And they want to shower you with attention. They want to give you gifts. This is Moon and Scorpio. So they feel transformative about, around you. Okay, you could be dealing with a Scorpio straight up. Um, they also want to take the situation and they want it to flower into something big. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Your next move is a temperance, right? But it came in reverse, but I turned it over. Yeah, I turned it around. Yeah, I turned it around. It says you're going to be in balance, but you know what? We turning it around, honey. That's the, that's the magic here. Okay. Shh, don't tell nobody. All right, so how can, if cancer, if cancer is going to feel imbalanced, why is that? King of Swords. Okay, because you're anxious about a decision. You're really trying to use your, your next move is King of Swords. This means literally trying to use your intelligence and all, everything you know to really set, take a step back, emotionally remove yourself with this temperance. Okay, this is a great combination of cards. This is a wonderful combination. This is um Aquarius. Gemini Libra energy. This is Sagittarian energy with the temperance. But this is actually an amazing co combination because the King of Swords can be kind of ruthless. He can be kind of um, stiff. He can be kind of cold. And he can also uh, cut things out rather quickly. Okay? But when you have the temperance, this is actually the perfect marriage of emotional intelligence. Bam! So this is you actually growing up and saying, even though you come in a little imbalance, right? right because this wasn't balanced at the beginning right but we turning it around next move right next move is our best move hello we turning it around all right so even though we might be a little imbalanced and a little emotionally detached with the king of swords this energy is best serving us for our highest good because it's allowing us to really go all right listen I might be a little bit too, you know, gung ho here. Um, I'm just gonna allow. I'm gonna allow this person to come to me, and that's perfect. They, cause they know how you feel, Cancer. You have made it clear. Super emotionally intelligent. I like that. You know, allowing things to be, allowing things to naturally happen, but being smart about it. Oh wow. <laughs> Look at this alignment energy, guys. The lovers, the lovers. So you got a fresh start and a decision, a decision. But this is also, um, geez, you guys, this is screaming twin flame. You got the flame here, the flame here. So what is a twin flame? Um, your twin soul, the person you're meant to be with, I guess. You know, let's just keep it in layman's terms. Um, but the lovers, the lovers means it's got an undeniable connection. See the angel of it right there? This is literally um, just saying it's blessed, a blessed union, okay? This is something that will fulfill you. This is a love of a lifetime, honey. No wonder you're so anxious about it, but stop. Because if it's meant for you, it will come to you, especially when it's that kind of love. It ain't really nothing for you to do anyway. Advice. Advice was the king of pentacles, right? Work on yourself. Focus on yourself. Focus on your money. Focus on your, um, your goals. Focus on your home and your empire, you know, focus on your job, like get, focus on your stability because you're going to need it, right? Because you got this person coming and y'all got to take care of each other now. Got to take care of each other. Clarify the King of Pentacles, please, for Cancer. Clarify the King of Pentacles, please. Sorry, but that's loud, guys. All right. Okay. I see. Oh, look at that under the deck. The chariot. That's your card, guys. That's your card. Oh, that's bright. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix it. Yeah. Chariot moving full speed ahead with the reins this is directly the card after the lovers so this is progression here you found the person and they move it forward all right that's like amazing <laughs> so here we go the king of pentacles and the two of pentacles is the advice so right now they're saying this is being very strategic 
about a decision that you make. All right, this is saying consider your stability in this situation. You need to consider that. That might be what's holding it back, actually. Both of you need to consider your stability and your material wealth and your financial security in this situation. This can also be how badly do you want a long-term relationship? How badly... Um, because the king of pentacles is a long-term relationship, okay? And twos are decision with the two of pentacles, right? So how badly are you willing to, um, how much are you willing to sacrifice for this, okay? In a good way, meaning like you have a lot of responsibilities, clearly. You have a lot going on in your life already with the pentacle. I can see right here a lot of you out here this, that are list, is listening to this message a lot of you have children okay so you're gonna have to balance out your personal life first that could be the blockage here you need to balance out your personal life you need to get your your finances order you need to get your home in order you're doing a good job at it i see okay but there's a little bit more work that needs to be done there before the two of you can come together and i mean that could just be because y'all got traveling to do right and this is the start of the school year for a lot of people and y'all don't have time or money right now to go anywhere you ain't got no money to go anywhere Okay, even if you have the money, you ain't got time because your kids just started school. You know, you got to be there. Right. And so those are the things that might be in the way right now. And those are good things, guys. They're, they're actually not blockages. That's just a stable life. Beautiful cancer. All right. So let's get a romance angel oracle. Don't be so stressed. This is the this is this is popping off, honey. I'm going to tell you right now, because I like to do this. I'm going to tell you right now. One, two. You got this one twice. This one. This one. And this one. All right. As a reader, I don't need any more other cards than this to tell you that this is about to pop off. Okay? It's your person. You got two aces here. You got cheese. Just with these cards alone, all right? The Wheel of Fortune. This is a this is a major arcana. This is the divine. This is divine timing. This is your Jupiter card. This is a husband, okay? Boom. Or wife, if you're, you know. Um, lovers. Oh, guys, I'm sorry about that. Lovers. Boom. Divinity. Divinely, divinely uh, ordained, this thing. This is divinely orchestrated. I always mess that up. Um, hangman, okay? Enlightened. Being enlightened. Using that using that solar energy. Using that sun energy. Enlightened, okay? To the person. They're enlightened to you too. Again, another card of that here. They're enlightened to you too. All right? Two aces here, okay? Might be a little confusion right now, but look at that. Two aces. Ace of clarity. Ace of fresh start, passion, new beginnings creativity there's love there's passion here and then the temperance archangel uriel is mixing the energies right now to make sure y'all get this just right this is like making sure that that check comes in so that y'all have the money for the plane ticket making sure that you're the babysitter like all them kind of little fine details honey that's working it out for y'all all right so let's get this going let's get the uh romance angel oracle and let's get one more message from my lovely cancer what does need what does cancer need to know about their boo because this is about you and your boo <laughs> that cracks me up i'm i'm never gonna not laugh at that now ball Ooh, that's too many guys all right you and your boo what's up with you and your boo what's up with you and your boo come on romance angels tell us tell us I'm not going to yell at them. They don't like that. They, they don't like that. They're like, girl, if you yell at me one more time. Oh, my gosh. That's just too many cards. It was a lot of good cards, though. <laughs> Believe it or not, this deck, mm, deception. All right, here we go. So we have deception. Somebody is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Deception. Chemistry. That's a sex card. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. We know that with the lovers, right? And getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you have deception and chemistry, right? Right there off the bat, what is the deception about? The deception is about the chemistry. That's it. 
So don't go ahead wondering all these things right now. Don't go ahead and wonder, well, what are they deceiving me about? No, deception is about the chemistry, okay? You guys are both, like, you know the chemistry's there. They might not be admitting it at this moment in time. They might not be admitting how strong this connection is. Because you know why? You guys both haven't really been able to express. If you guys got a bunch of pages here, this is a bunch of tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe energy, okay? Oh, I like you. Oh, I this one. That's deceptive, especially if you're dealing with a Scorpio. Or, I mean, there's Aquarius here. There's Sagittarius. Those are very strong-minded wills, strong-willed people. You got um, Taurus here, or it could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Kings are on the table. Kings and pages. Yeah, y'all got... It's like you're... That energy means, like, I really know what I want. How do I say it? Um... I feel all this all this inside, but I don't want to mess it up. So let me very a lot of tiptoe energy. So they're saying get to know each other. Just get to know one another and it'll pan out. All right. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I love you guys. I will see y'all soon for the September overview where we get into more of the deeper meaning of our life path and all these things. But it's good with the tarot. Just kind of like spy a little bit sometimes. I mean, I could go in depth with you guys about the spiritual meanings of these cards um but that's not what you and your boo is about right now honey you and your boo is about this s-e-x <laughs> all right guys thank you for joining me Bye -bye.